Hi all, and welcome to Night Rips. So, for today's opening, you can tell from the Christian Pache still sitting there overseeing what we're doing, we are going to open up another blaster box of the Allen & Ginter 2021. See if we can find anything interesting here. Yeah, I've, I've always kind of downplayed the finds of Allen & Ginter. Which is unfortunate because, you know, there is actually quite a bit of stuff here that is actually hard to find, to be honest. Uh, just to show it, so peel back the cellophane a little bit. You can actually see, if you look at the, the odds of all the stuff, there's a whole lot of parallels here. You know, you can pull relics, you can pull autos. Uh, but even a lot of the, the parallels of the minis some of those are actually pretty hard to get especially when you start pulling some of the the ginter back uh short prints right any any of the parallels of the short prints so let's go ahead and open this up see what we can find but you never know we may actually still pull a relic we may pull an auto who knows we won't be able to tell until we actually rip the pack open that's why I don't, these, these people that can actually save these boxes, oh, it's Jeff Garland, uh, save these boxes for a long time, not opening it, I, I just, I don't get it. You know, I, I personally just like to see what's in a, in a box. See, here's Kirby Yates, and it's a base Kirby Yates, but he is, it is a short print. So that's pretty cool. And you have to excuse my dog in the background, I have no clue what she's doing. Sorry. So we for the deep sea shiver, got the Caribbean reef shark, and we got Willie Stargell. Is Willie, Willie a short? No, he's just a regular print. Anything over 300 short. And this is pretty standard of, of a pack. You know, you'll get one insert, one mini, and four base cards. Because there is six cards per pack. There's Lou Bob. Six cards per pack, eight cards per box. I mean, eight, eight packs per box, so 48 cards in total. Luis Patino, interesting rookie. There's Reggie Jackson for our mini. Looks like we have Lorenzo Kane, and it's a Lorenzo Kane Ginterback. So there's a shorter parallel, but he is a, he's not a short print. For our historical hits, we typically get two of these in a box. There's Ty Cobb. And then we got Roger Hornsby. Very interesting look. I mean, even the drawing looks like it's it's old. And not a short print. Hard to always tell. I, I've not memorized what all the short print cards are yet. Uh, there is 50 of them. Some of them I, I start remembering, but not all of them. I've got quite a few of them. I think I've got over 30. There's Rod Carew. I've got over 30 of the short prints, uh, but you know, always room for more. That's uh, Bob Gibson, Joe Gibson, Josh Gibson, and it's a short print too. And I have this short print actually. Uh, we also got, and this is actually pretty cool. This is one of the rookie design variation of Casey Mize. I forget how many of these there are. It's not that many. It's something like. 15 or 20 of them and all the short or the design variations are one in eight i've gotten them all from blaster boxes there's a scarlet mccall another birds of the feather insert teoscar hernandez and he's just a base so we should be getting two t51s one more historical hits we need an arboreal appreciation and a rallying back. That should be the all the inserts we get. Every once in a while, it does mix up a little bit. Is that uh, Roger Maris? Yes, Roger Maris. And he's a base card. Kiebert Ruiz. Oh, I'll let two cards go. There's Cody here. And for our insert i don't get very many of this but we have an insert there's a good for you insert of asparagus 
And Asparagus is okay. Not a super fan, but it's okay. For our T51 Murad, this is one of the two we'll get. That would be Juan Soto. And then Kim, I don't remember his name. He's a yeah, baseball analyst, Daniel Kim. It's hard to remember all these people who are, they might be peripheral to baseball or nothing at all with baseball. That's what makes Allen and Ginter a little bit of a, more of a challenge to try to talk through. I mean, it's hard enough. Oh, there's uh, Waddle. What's his first name? Jalen Waddle. Yeah, it's weird to see. There's like two football players. Oh, no, there's three football players I can remember in this. There's Waddle. There is, uh, uh, I think his last name's Beer. And then there's Trevor Lawrence. It's just weird to get confused to see football players in a baseball pack. Of course, there's Johnny Bench. It's baseball. Tommy Lasorda. He's a short print. We got Alex Kirloff, good rookie, and it's a uh, base, not not short. I think Kirby is a yeah. There's our rallying back, the Golden Lion Tamarin. So now we're looking for is our tree, and one more of the the T fifty one Murad and the historical hits, and we'll be set. And there's Klaus Schwerber. Yep, three packs. Let's see. Let's let's see if Alan gets just going to make a liar out, out of me. There's Nate Pearson. Good rookie there. Alberto Mondesi. Quintana. We got our far far away insert. Caldwell five. There's our. Historical hit, this one being Aaron Boone. So there's we got two historical hits. And then we got Donnie Baseball. Two more left. So one should be a tree, one should be a T51 Murad. What the minis are, I honestly have no clue. I haven't I haven't found a pattern of those yet. There's Stay in the Man Musual. Kirby Puckett. A lot of legends here. Jordan Alvarez. Well, follow those two guys. That's something special. We have an Alex Verdugo base card. It's weird to see that kind of. It's kind of a different design there, isn't it? Huh. Don't know why. Maybe it's for nothing. I don't know. I have to start looking and see if these these banners here are different. Not sure. There's our tree. The Boreal Appreciation with the weirdest looking pine in the world. Looks more like a maple or something. And then we end it with Ian Anderson. Last one. And this one should be the T51 Murad. Our make of Big Lyre be a big booklet with autos. And we'd have a very happy video. But it's not going to be. There's a comedian. I think it's Roy Wood Jr. Yeah. There's Buster Posey. Calhoun. Is that Cole Calhoun? We have Jose Ramirez. Ginter back. That's cool. And they, like I said, there's our TV 51 Mirad. Got the rookie seal, which tells me that's Joe Adele. And then end it with Pedro Martinez. All right, so let's do a quick recap here. Put the base cards here up to the side. From the large, we did get the the weirdo pine tree and the arboreal appreciation. I still don't get, understand how that's a pine tree. I, not a pine I've ever seen. There is the golden line tamarin in the rallying back set. We have the Caribbean reef shark in deep sea shiver. I do like that set. For the birds of a feather. We've got the Scarlet McCall. And then for our two historical hits, we have Aaron Boone and Ty Cobb. Very nice. And then for the two fifty one T fifty one Marads, we have Joe Adele and Juan Soto. Two young sluggers. Great ones today. 
For the minis, start off with the Far Far Away where we got a Caldwell 5. We have the Good For You. And I think this one's like a 1 in 50 to get the Good For You set. But we got Asparagus. We got a few of the base rookie, uh, not rookies, but the base uh, minis. We got Alec Verdugo, Alex, is it Alex? Yeah, Alex Verdugo, Alex Kirloff, and Kirby Yates. So name the one that's not Alex. For the Ginter backs, we got two of those. Lorenzo Cain and Jose Ramirez. And of course, both of them, neither one of them are, let me show it real quick. Neither one of those are short print, but that's okay. And then the, the cool one, and I do like this set a lot, the rookie design variation of Casey Mize. And I, I really, I do like this. It's a very, it's a very clean look. So I hope I can get that whole set. So that's it for this opening. I hope you like, you know, seeing it. You're not always going to get a big hit. You know, some of these are, of course, even a Ginter back is, a short print so you know you gotta if you're gonna if you're gonna try to complete things you, you gotta get all the cards so if you like this go ahead and subscribe to the channel i'll be putting up a lot of stuff i've got a lot of stuff sitting behind me right now that i'll be shooting videos from here to eternity trying to you know put up more content and hopefully i don't have the technical issues that i've been having in the past i do appreciate your time if you like these videos go ahead and hit a thumbs up and I hope to see y'all next time. Until then, bye now.